to welcome all of you on board the Good Time 2 for Pacific Marine Research and Marine Science and Flow Program. I'm Pat Maxwell. I am the Program Director with Pacific Marine Research. In just a few moments, we'll depart the dock. We're going to go cruising out towards the Alki Point area. Pacific Marine Research is a nonprofit educational organization and we do marine science field trips. We've seen marine mammals on almost every trip so far this year. Keep your eyes open, who knows what we'll get to see. I have a map of a small part of planet Earth here, and on my map, Puget Sound extends from here down to here. Tom Schaefer, I'm just one of the people who run the show. Some of the clouds make it past the Olympics, they get across Puget Sound, they even go over the Cascades, and then they drop water over here. When the students first come aboard the boat, we begin with a little a bit of review of their knowledge of Puget Sound. They've already done some study about Puget Sound back at school, so we're talking a little bit about how Puget Sound formed, uh, why there's so much life here, some of the problems threatening Puget Sound. But these days we need to be extra careful about exactly where we get our shellfish. After that, our, we're divided up into groups. One group starts out on the after deck of the boat collecting plankton Copopod. samples. We're going to be capturing copepods, amphipods, arrowworms, phytoplankton, all sorts of different drifting plants and animals. They pull nets through the water, scooping up all sorts of drifting plants and animals. Phytoplankton, right on, and look at that. Can you see how that affects water clarity? If you look close, there are hundreds of animals in there. When they've got those, they bring them into the main cabin where we have a video microscope, and they get to make TV stars out of some of their plankton, find out who's who in the plankton. This is a calanoid copepod. That's a baby copepod. Let's see what we caught. Once they know their copepods from their comb jellies, the students move up to our microscope lab on the upper deck. Do you see any guys swimming around in there? Yeah. Cool. Let's take a little closer look. Uh, well, I see a lot of little curly things. <laughs> it looks like a snot ball. <laughs> a very famous Norwegian oceanographer dude named Nansen invented this bottle. We have a station on water sampling. We lower it into the water. We use some oceanographic water sampling equipment. We get samples from a couple of different depths and learn a little bit about how the temperature and salinity of the water are related to the density of the water. Is it ready to go in the water? No. Why not? Because it's open. Oh, better, maybe we better open it, huh? Otherwise we'll get an air sample. Good luck. Don't drop it. <laughs> yeah, don't drop it. We use various water sampling models to take water samples from different depths. We do a little bit of water chemistry, find out a little bit about the physical oceanography. One of the main events of the day, we have a diver who comes to the boat. We send the diver down with an underwater television camera. Let's say hi to Rhoda. Hi, Rhoda. A special mask with two-way communication so we can have a conversation with the diver while they're on the bottom. This is a, uh, it's called the Blue Stripe Sun Star. This lovely sea star crawls around the bottom and digs up sea cucumbers. When the diver comes up, they bring back some animals that we saw during the dive. We bring all the students up to the upper deck of the boat where we have all of the animals in our collection out on display and spend time with the groups at the different stations learning about all those different animals. Ew, it's slimy. Ew, there's no ew in science. The best thing about PMR are the smiling faces. There's nothing quite like watching the students light up when they actually get a chance to hold a slime star or hold a, a sea cucumber. What I think our program is all about more than anything else is helping students gain an appreciation for their connection to Puget Sound. 